hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon for getting new updates welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll show you how to install kali linux 2020.1 so let's start guys so first of all we have to download the kali linux installer so right now kali linux provide the installer all in one installer where we can install all the types of operating system like gnu net etc and this is the software where you can create a bootable usb drive click on i button where i explain how to create bootable kali linux so now reboot your system and set up your bios setting according to your device if you have usb drive select your usb drive or removable device or if you have cd room so select cd room and then simply press f10 key and then save and exit from your boot setting now this is the booting mode so you have to select install or graphical install I choose graphical install and now you have to choose your language so you can scroll it down and select your language I select mine and here you have to choose your country I choose my country and then click on continue this is your keyboard layout select your keyboard according to your setting now it is detecting the hardware right now it is configuring the network now you have to enter your host name you can enter any host name here and then click on continue here is domain name if you have your domain name and you want to attach with them simply type here and now enter here your full name your full name because now you can not use root so it will create standard user and this is the username so I simply type here tag the and now you have to enter here the password for your root user and which we will create previous tag the this password for tag the and now it is setting up the clock and now it is detecting the hard disk so now we have to create the partition first of all we have to create the partition table so select your we have to configure manually and first of all select your hard disk and then click on continue so it will ask you please create a partition table so it will create a partition table now here we have to create the partition so first of all we will create root partition our slash partition this is the main partition where Kali Linux will be installed so I'll give the 100 gigabyte space for my root partition or slash partition so simply according to you or according to your hard drive you can give the space for your directory so I select primary and click on and this is the most important use the file system and here mount partition is this click on here and then click on continue now our second partition is boot partition so simply follow the step one by one and we will create the partition so simply I give the space 500 MB and then simply click on continue select the primary and here you have to select the slash boot so this is the slash boot for your bootloader and then simply click on done setting and then click on continue so now our third partition is swap partition so first we will create swap partition so according to your RAM if you have 4 GB RAM so you can implement the 8 gigabyte swap memory double your swap memory 
so simply here you have to select the swap here and then simply click on continue and done your setting and rest of the space I'll create a home directory for our home slash home directory so simply click on primary and here you can mount point is slash home so this is the four main partition which is most important if you are using Linux based distro and simply click on done setting and then click on continue now here you have to write the partition so simply click on yes and write the changes in hard drive so all the four partition is here and you have to simply click on continue select yes and then click on continue so now it is installed the new operating system 2020.1 this is the latest version of Kali Linux so it is configured the package manager so it is configured the package manager and now it is select and install software so we have to select and install the software because this is the new Kali Linux installer where you can get all in one types of Kali Linux so by default desktop environment is XFC Kali Linux which is checked and other desktop environment is unchecked if you want to install the other environment desktop environment so you have to get a good internet speed and here all other softwares you can check the box and install otherwise you can simply click on continue if you want to default setting so right now I am choose default setting so I simply click on continue so it is installing the software it will took some time so I am come later so now guys it is install the grub bootloader on our hard disk so here you have to simply click on yes choose the yes bullet sign and then you have to click on continue so it will install the bootloader on our hard disk select your hard disk and then simply click on continue so now it is installing the bootloader on a hard disk which is our hard disk so now installation is complete so you have to simply click on continue and it is rebooting your operating system so now your Kali Linux is booting up first time this is the boot animation of Kali Linux this is the new boot animation which is introduced in 2019.4 and now it is also using latest version of Kali Linux so this is the login screen of Kali Linux 2020.1 this is the login screen so now I am trying to login with a root but it is not going through because in latest version of Kali Linux root is not working anymore so if you are using VMware or VirtualBox their by default username is Kali and password is also also Kali but in my case while we'll install the Kali Linux we'll set up the username which is TechD so I am simply login with TechD and enter the password which I set while installing so this is the desktop of Kali Linux the latest version of Kali Linux so I am simply open the terminal and I am showing you the version of Kali Linux and the kernel of Kali Linux so using this command username hyphen r so you can check the latest kernel 5.4.0 the kernel of Kali Linux and now I am showing you the login username with who am I command so it will show you the login user which is TechD because we have login with TechD and now I am showing you the version of Kali Linux using this command you can run this command I am give the all commands in description where you can simply 
copy and paste if you want so this is the latest version of kali linux so this is the way how you can install kali linux 2020.1 in your laptop or in your virtual machine so now i am showing you how to enable root is by default root is disabled so you have using this command sudo hyphen i and here you can check enter the tag the pass so you can read carefully all the details and now you can check i am login with kali so now you have to set the pass so first of all i'll show you who am i so root is login in terminal so now you have to set up the password so simply using this command password command p a a s s w d this is the command oh sorry the command is p a s s w d password and simply hit enter now here enter the new password so set up the new password for root directory so this is the password updation is successfully now i am sign up the tag the user so simply i close the terminal and i log out from here and now i am log in with root so simply enter the root and enter the root password which i set and here guys i am successfully log in with root if you want if you want to enable the root this is the good feature for beginners and here you can check the root user is login i am checking with using who am i command so you can check the root is login so this is the way how you can install the kali linux and how you enable the root user so thank you for watching this video thank you very much